Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to speak about Behringer and their interest in the ARP 2500. Love them or hate them, it's no news Behringer has been recreating classic analog synthesizers the last few years. The ARP 2600 is one of their bigger projects on the table, highly anticipated. The ARP 2600 was a massively selling synth, really, really popular for its time. But before the ARP, 2600 was the less selling ARP 2500. If what I read here is correct, it only sold around 100 units when it was made. So unlike the 2600, it did not catch on at all. The ARP 2500 was a modular unit, unlike the ARP 2600, which was a built-in one-purpose unit. Even the core gadget version of the ARP is one of my most used things within the studio today. I definitely want to get a hardware version of the ARP 2600, that's guaranteed. Modular is still something I personally have not gone super deep into. The closest I've hit is semi-modular. I'm pretty sure this will do good within that world though, because the reason why you venture into that world is customization. You're able to make that box whatever you want. That box can be as big as you want and people who love that world, live in that world, would gravitate towards the 2500 modular road. I think it's very interesting that Behringer is deciding to give the option of that solid 2600 or the modular 2500 route. Would you want the 2600? Would you want the more open source kind of 2500? Or would you want both? As always, I need to thank you for taking the time to check out this video and the Patreons who support this video. Without your views and their support, I wouldn't have motivation to pump out content pretty much every single day, and I can't thank you enough for that motivation. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.